First up tonight, a live look from our Clearwater Credit Union weather camera. We're following up on a story from last week on Missoula's short-term rentals. A viewer reached out and asked us how those regulations compare to other rentals. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens is working for you to find out that answer. Last week, we broke down how homeowners register a certain kind of short-term rental called tourist homes with the city of Missoula. The story prompted this question from Keith. If the city does that same type of, uh, or has the same type of requirements for long-term rentals, uh, if not, why? Before getting into long-term rentals, let's recap what the city requires to register a tourist home. First is the application process. Following that is a building and fire inspection, which the city says typically takes six to eight weeks. Additionally, short-term rentals need a health license. But city officials tell me they don't have the same power in determining regulations for Missoula's long-term rentals. City of Missoula does not have the authority to regulate long-term rentals. That is in the purview of the state. Statewide landlord regulation comes from the Residential Landlord and Tenant Act of 1977. The act says the landlord must comply by the building and housing codes that significantly affect health and safety in units built after 1977. Additionally, landlords are required to provide and ensure a smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector are working at the start of each rental agreement. To read the full bill that these longer-term rentals fall under, visit our homepage, NBCMontana.com. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC Montana. And as always, if you have a question or a problem you want to send our way, write down our email, NBCMontanaTips at SBGTV.com. We're always working for you to get the answers you need.